What's up, everybody? Good morning. Put in and sizzle coming at you. And this morning, it's a beautiful day on the beach. We are beach fishing. Yes, it's the annual black tip shark migration. And also, there's pompano around. So we've come up to the beach here on Hutchinson Island. And our great friend Paul Spurko said there's all kinds of stuff going on. So we come up here. We're going to show you about all our gear we have. We've got some specialized gear. And we hope we got some sharks in the pompano. Yeah, that's the goal. The goal is sharks and pompano will be a bonus. But we're going to see what happens. One guy already beat us at the beach. Oh, boy. So, so we got to get going. We're late. Let's <laughs> all right, go. Let's, hit it. let's go. All right, guys. We're all set up. We're going to dive right into this. This fish is still frozen. Oh, boy. Got a fresh bonita here from offshore. Oh, we're gonna get a nice slab off of this guy. He's frozen. Got a fresh bonita chunk here. Like we said, we're targeting the black tip, so really wanna match the size of your baits to the size of the sharks. Not the giant biggest sharks in the world here, but they're still nice sized sharks. So we got a big chunk here. We'll make sure that hook is exposed. We have filed down our barbs on these circle hooks, which is three times strong. And something just like that. And you can see we have it crimped on and we are not using wire leaders today. We are using mono. I believe this is 400 pound mono, which is great for these sharks because they're not gonna cut through this mono. And then we got about four foot leader crimped on to our uh, swivel, as you can see. And that is attached to about a two foot uh, spider weight, which is gonna hold in the sand. So we're all set up, ready to go. And you can see here, we're gonna be using a, a 6000 Shimano Saragoza paired with a star rod, which is just our simple offshore rod. This is not a really, you know, long beach rod, but this is going to do just fine for the sharks. The guys over here just told me they're within 15 feet of shore. That was not that long. When we're fishing for sharks, whether it's on the boat or on the beach, what we like to do is have really light drag. So I've set this to basically nothing. So that way when the shark takes it, he doesn't really know he's gonna be hooked and he's gonna swallow that bait and swim away with it and that circle hook's gonna get him right in the corner of the mouth. So we'll just hear this start going out and we'll know to crank it up, let him run for a few seconds and then shark on. And I think it's gonna happen pretty quick here. Here we go, guys. Line just started screaming out. I'm gonna give it a second here. Come on, shark. Here he goes, here he goes. Oh no, that was the wave. <laughs> Pulling the line. See, give him a second. He's on there. I think he's on there. No, actually. No. All right. I'll let it sit for a yeah, minute and then sit. we'll check it. Yeah. Yeah, that now was a good sign. Yeah, that thing took off. Now, you know, we're using uh, circle hooks, and so it's really you're not going to sit there and set the hook. Right. Um, and with sharks, we've learned just, you know, just let them take it. They, you know, they bite it, and then it takes them a while to eat it and all this stuff. So there's no rush. And uh, I don't know, he just dropped yeah, first it. Thing when you, what's the first thing you do when you catch a shark? Nothing. <laughs> That's what I always tell. Uh, first, you always, when you, have, you guys are out there fishing, talk to everyone, communicate. Talk about what's going to happen if you get a bite. Yeah, who does what? Yeah, like usually... Like, we're shark fishing, so the line starts going off. What do you do? You don't do anything. You just hang out, you see what happens. <laughs> For three seconds at least. Yes, correct. All right. All right. Get back on it. That's one bite, though. Good sign. Good sign. All right, let's see here. Starting to get some action on this rod again. Same one we just got the bite on before. Here we go, here we go. Got the bail open. Oh, oh, big splash. Oh, 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 he just took it. He's running. Make sure he gets hooked here. Stopped again. Running. Is it set? No. Come on, fish. Run. He's on it. All right. Getting tight. Here we go. Stay hooked. And looks like we got a fish on. Nice. He said that drag a little better. His head shaking right now. Now he knows his hook. <laughs> Screaming out. First fish on, guys. More than likely, probably the target species, a beautiful shark. But we're just going to have to see what happens. It could be anything, because you never know. That's why it's called fishing. All right. Heck yeah. Here he comes. He kind of came in pretty quick there, but that's OK. Less of a fight to work out for me. Got to save my energy for more sharks. We're breaking off the skunk. All right, you want to do this? I got this. Hold that. Oh, 
We got ourselves a shark. Heck yeah. Beautiful. Relax, buddy, relax, buddy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, I gotta jump on. There we go. Barb is out. All right, let's let her go immediately and get another shark. Come on, buddy. Wrong way, go, go, go. You're going the wrong way. There she goes. <laughs> All right, broke off the skunk. That was awesome. Give me, get my blood pump in there and get me all warmed up here. And now I'm so excited to send out more lines and get into some bigger sharks. But like we said, broke off the skunk. Not 100% sure on that species, but let her go with no delay, no pictures. Now let's get some more lines out, catch some more. Haha, -ha, finally got a fish. It's not a pompado, but it is a big old whiting, which is also great bait, fresh shark bait, and also great to eat too. But I think for us, he's gonna end up being shark bait because we need some fresh bait here. Finally, got a fish on the pompano rigs from Captain Paul. Awesome. Now we, have a, we actually have an entire whiting and croaker video if you wanna watch that. Yes, this is a big one. And these are actually delicious to eat, but we're running low on shark bait. And so we're gonna make this one in the shark bait. We can keep like 100 pounds of these or something Match crazy. the hatch. Match the hatch. That's a good point. And Darcy caught that on a, uh, a kuma, a surf rod that Akuma sent us. So thanks very much. How was that rod, Darcy? Awesome. Super lightweight and uh, caught my first fish on it. Broke yeah. this gunk off. That's it. There you go. It's a two-piece, 12-foot rod. They have a lot of rods in varying different price ranges and work good. Sorry, little dude. Fish on! Oh, you guys see the horses going by. And I'm now hooked up on a fish. Finally just doubled over. This one was sitting forever. All right, you see the horses, guys? They've been going back and forth on this beach like all day, which is pretty cool. So I got horses in the background and just hooked a fish. Ooh! All right. I know how to do this. Captain Paul Spurco taught me, keep your rod tip down and then drag them onto shore. And it looks like it's the right species. Let's just keep them on the hook here. He freaking crushed that too. Drag, 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 drag. Oh, is that a nice fish, huh? That's a nice fish. That's what I'm talking about. That's a stud pom- That's my biggest pompano right there ever. Get him away from the water. That's a huge pompano. Dude, that's popping, that's popping. Go, go, go. Get this one, grab it, grab it, grab it. You underneath me. Hold on, you're underneath. Let me go under. That is a stud pompano. Oh yeah, I got a fish. Um, I don't know, it's nothing. Oh, we're gonna eat him. Look at that blue crab. Oh, that's not a blue crab. No. That's a cal calypso. That's yeah. a huge calypso. Captain Paul's rigs doing his job. I mean, he was hooked right in the back, in the lip there, and he wasn't going anywhere. Circle hook did its job, and he just crushed that, and the rod just started going shaking all over the place. Look at that beautiful pompano. That is a nice fish right there. All right. I was just watching our shark rod over there, and I was watching it bend. Looks like we might have a fish on. Yeah, we got something on. All right, we gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I just saw it screaming. Unless it's got another crab. There he is. There he is. Woo! -hoo! Look at jumping. He's trying to jump. Spinner on. Black tip or spinner shark, either one. We got a shark on, finally. All right, so it was like a two hour delay there where the kind of shark shut off and we just hooked into a solid fish now. Got that pompano, now we got a nice shark. Woo, he ain't happy. Taking some runs here. Gonna be a few minutes before I get him close here, but we're gonna 
see what it is. I'm excited. It's going to turn out to be a beautiful day in February here in Florida. And we're going to catch and release this fish. And by the way, in Florida, you got to have your shark endorsement for land-based shark fishing. Make sure you have that. Ooh, he's pulling some fish. See the bend in the rod? That's a good fish. Head shakes. Woo! Angry shark. All right, we got a top shot of mono in here. It just came onto the spool. So I know the fish is getting close here. Feeling violently head shaking the whole time. Whatever shark or fish this is, he is not happy. But we're now, did the tide switch already? I think it's about right now. Like this is exactly Yeah, so the probably switch. right now it's probably dead low. And it looks like, you know, we just had that pompano bite. We just got a nice shark bite. So hopefully that's a good sign that these fish are really turning on. And it's always a blast to, you know, catch and release sharks anywhere on the beach in Florida, particularly when it's a gorgeous day like today in February. It's not too hot, not too cold. Perfect floor for Viridian like me. All right, did you see a shark? You see him? We got to follow our fish. Oh, he just turned. He's got black tips. It looks like it's a spinner. So it's interesting that I'll show you when the shark gets here, but I'll show you the difference between a black tip and a spinner. It's a nice fish. Look at him. Okay. Ooh, it's a big shark. We got a helper. <laughs> Pull on her. Got it. We got a helper helping us right now, helping film us. And this fish has black tips, which makes me believe it's a spinner. Hang on. Hold on, she's squirming. See if we can just pop this. No go. Try that, you're gonna cut it. It's bar there's no barbs, right? No barbs. Are you on vacation? Uh, yeah. Nice, this is on vacation. Awesome. All right, we're gonna cut the hook right here as close to the barb as possible. And that way the hook will fall out of this beautiful shark. There we go. Ryan, just help me with that. My pliers over here. All right, and that's another beautiful fish for us. All right, all right, all right. We're letting you go right Give now. Give a wave. Right now, awesome. We just had a helper help us grow a power. All right, and this beautiful fish seems to be. It's a spinner. It's a spinner. No, it's a black tip. See all the black tips? Spinner shark, which no, we no. think a black tip would be called that, what? That doesn't have a black tip, so it's a spinner, right? It's a, it's a black tip. All right, yes, right. Right, it's a black tip. That's how you can tell by the anal fin right there. Thank you. All right, this is a big, big beautiful male black tip shark. They're so powerful. Come here, come here, I'm helping you, I'm helping you. Come on. All right, drag them right back into the water. Don't delay the release after you take the hook out. Even though you can release, you can harvest black tips one per day. There you go. That fish is fine. That male is setting him back, self back out, but that's a solid black tip shark. Uh, definitely an adult, not the biggest one I've ever caught. I'm a little out of breath, but we had that helper come help us, which is great. Usually you should be doing this when you're filming with three people. So you can have a little bit of a shark rash there. You also never want to jump on the back of a shark. You kind of just want to straddle them, which is exactly what I did. I did not sit on the back of that shark. Successful release. Let's catch another one. <laughs> Here is my pompano rig. These are pre-tied rigs by Paul Spurco. Like you guys have seen, I'm gonna link that information down below for you to buy them. If you're local, get them at Snook Nook and Stewart. Otherwise, you can purchase them on the Fish Bites website. And so what I did was I have a dead sand flea and we got a 1-0 circle hook here. Like I said, pre-rigged by Captain Paul. You put on the sand flea first and then you take your piece of Fish Bites, which this particular one I have is a uh, shrimp and I'm going to cut that down to size but if you put the fish bite over your sand flea your sand flea will not go flying off your rig and that's kind of the gist of it you can use live shrimp if you want to um, whatever or dead shrimp whatever works best for you but fish bites are known for catching pompano 
and all the, all the uh, flavors work. You know, the shrimp, the crab, the sand flea, all that good stuff. So that one has a, a shrimp flavored one on, and then the same thing with a second hook. Sand flea goes on. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut that down with scissors to whatever size you like. And then I'm just gonna put that on the hook. And then on the end of the rig, we are using spider weights between three and six ounces, depending on the current and the waves. And for the setup, I'm using an Akuma two-piece surf rod, which is 12 foot and it's really lightweight. And so far I'm really liking it. It's got a really light tip on it and I can really see those bites. And when that rod tip goes slack, I know to go running over to it and reel in that fish. All right, now we wait. And while we wait, I check the other rods. And I'm not real, you can use almost any reel. You know, just want to have some line capacity because you can have a, a far cast and something weird might catch your, might bite your bait because you're in the ocean, right? And uh, we're using a 15 pound mono. It uh, casts a mile. You don't want to use braid in the ocean or at least you want to have a long top shot because the wave action, if you have braid, there's no stretch. The wave action will creep your weight back in the shore, okay? If you have mono, it's gonna stretch and your weight is gonna stay out there longer, much, much longer, okay? So that's, uh, that's kind of a Guggen thing that people do sometimes and uh, you know, if you're an experienced fisherman, you're gonna know that mono out here. Or again, a very long top shot for that. And on the shark rods, you know, we need a lot of capacity because we got a big shark, so we have braid, you know, mostly full pack of braid and then like, you know, 100 or 200 feet of, of mono on top, uh, you know, to our, 250 to 400 pound mono leader to our 10 uh, circle hook and we crimped on the barbs on that. That's it. Woo! Ow! I just really hurt my ankle running. I've been <laughs> losing so much fish to the sharks. I can't get here fast enough. So like as soon as you see like your rod tip go slack, oh, as soon as you see your rod tip go slack, you gotta run and our rods are separated, so. Woo, just got another fish and that's dinner. Yes. <laughs> I just ran as fast as I could. And I was just watching these lines diligently. Oh, look at that wonderful horse poop. Don't look at that. Well, my fish didn't get into it. All right, nice little pompano. Looks like he's gonna keep. Gotta be 11 to the fork. We do have a ruler, but you know, these little hooks are perfect for these little pompanoes because they just get hooked in their lip and it's perfect. He ate a sand flea, like I, got, I just showed you guys, that whole rig and that setup and yeah, just sending it right back out. So the incoming has started or uh, incoming tide with clean water. We got a wind that's blowing like right in our faces too. So we're still catching fish and having a blast. It wasn't going anywhere. All right, we got a fish on. Yeah, he's on there. Woohoo! All right, so I just caught another fresh bait. That just seems to be the key to success today. They want fresh fish and, of course, match the hatch. So I got another whiting, sent that right back out, and we got an instant bite. Now, hopefully, they don't eat the other whiting. All right, guys, shark came in quick. This is the like, quickest fight ever. But you know what? That's okay. You know, that's less of a fight for them. They don't suffer, they don't have to fight as hard and we'll get them released quicker. So that's always a good thing. All right, I'm gonna hand the rod off, here we go. All right, there we go. All right, that was pretty awesome. And that circle hook is gonna pop right out. Just like that, hook is out. And that's a beautiful fish. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but we're gonna pretend like it's prohibited species and let them go. Nice, third fish of the day. Nice. Let's let her go. All right. Come on. Let me see if I make sure she gets out. There she goes. There she goes. Oh. She's close. She's got it. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I've done it a lot. <laughs> Experience, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that was a spinner shark, yeah. Juvenile, but still cool. All right, guys, we forgot to wrap up the video, we so did. here we are. Yes, <laughs> we had a great time on the beach, and we actually were like upgrading our beach fishing equipment so yes. we can go back out there and do it again real soon because yeah. we had that much fun. Right, and the thing we're starting off with is getting bigger tires on the cart so I don't have a heart attack. Yeah, I literally right, I had, almost died. I had like an embolism, I think. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, we got that cart from Fishing Mate. It's a great cart. Awesome. And, uh, Thanks so much, guys, and that's a great car. It's very one of the most popular, best carts out there. And they make huge wheels. Yeah, we're getting new wheels, so, uh, so thanks, shout out to them. And uh, we also have some new stuff on the website, Sizzle. Yes, Brian is wearing a brand new camo shirt that is available, not hooded. It's really sweet, and we got different colors available as well. A blue one, a gray, silver camo looking one, and then also uh, ombre colored one. So that's all gonna be on the website for you guys. So check that information down below if you're interested in rocking a dark silver Along with shirt. All, the all the silver necklaces and bracelets and everything else. Yes, exactly. Fish hooks and, oh, I got so much. Um, anyway, that's the gist stuff of it. on. But anyhow, all the information will be down below if you wanna support us. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Like we said, we had a lot of fun and we can't wait to get more beach fishing videos back at you real yeah. soon. So until then, follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.